Seahorse Electric Winch is the ideal way to retrieve your seahorse. The drum is made from heat treated aluminium which makes it virtually bulletproof. To prepare the winch for launching the seahorse, we first remove the drive pin from the shaft to allow it to free wheel. Store the pin on the frame for safekeeping. As you can see, the drum spins very freely. To stop overruns in bird's nests while the seahorse breaks through the wave band, simply lower the drag rubber onto the shaft which applies just enough drag to stop the drum from overrunning. Once the seahorse is past the wave band, lift the rubber back off the shaft to let the line run out smoothly. The line is made up of several sections. It starts with a shock cord to protect the line near the seahorse. This is followed by a 150 meter leader line to run from the seahorse on the surface down to the hook section on the bottom. The hook section is 160 meters of stoppered line with 80 stoppers at 2 meter intervals. This means your traces can't get tangled. All this is followed by 1600 meters of main line. Once the seahorse stops pulling and the line stops running, Replace the drive pin through the shaft and you're ready to pull your line back in. You should leave your line out for anything between half an hour and an hour and a half depending on the conditions. The electronic speed control has three speeds, slow, medium and fast. You would only use the slow and medium settings if you had a lot of fish and were at the risk of stalling the motor. The on-off switch also has a pulse function. This allows you to hold the switch on as a hook approaches and as soon as you let go, the winch will stop. The winch has a number of backup systems in case things go wrong. If the drum stalls for any length of time, a 30 amp fuse in the control box will blow to protect the motor. There's a spare fuse in the control box which you can change on the beach. If that fuse also blows, then we can connect the battery directly to the motor, bypassing the control box altogether. Finally, if all else fails and your batteries are all flat, we have provided a handle, allowing you to crank the winch manually. To do this, firstly remove the drive pin from the shaft. Pull the shaft out about 20mm and reinsert the pin into a second hole. This disengages the shaft from the motor, making the job of winding much easier. The winch is powered by the same battery that powers the seahorse and they are interchangeable. You should be able to retrieve two full runs from one charged battery.